U.S. stocks trading about 1% higher this Monday afternoon as investors took in weakness in the dollar and oil prices ahead of Wednesday's key Federal Reserve meeting. Now, this week was off to a slow start on the economic front as the Empire State Index came in at 6.9 for the month of March, below February's 7.78. Meanwhile, industrial production rising 0.1% in February, below expectations, with capacity utilization slightly lower at 78.9%. Meanwhile, the Federal Open Market Committee holds its March meeting over the next two days with its release of its statement on Wednesday. Investors are watching to see if the keyword patient remains in the statement, an indication of when short-term interest rates might go up. And also moving markets today was M&A activity. Valen Pharmaceuticals agreeing to buy Salix Pharmaceuticals for $173 a share, beating out Endo's offer. Walgreens Boots Alliance hitting a record high following news after the bell on Friday that the firm will join the Nasdaq 100 on March 23rd. And media group Scripps Network Interactive striking a deal to buy a majority stake in Polish broadcaster TVN for roughly $615 million. Now in a quick market recap, the Dow Jones Industrial Average up 209 points or 1.18% 1 at 17,958 with 3M leading gains and DuPont the greatest of two blue chip laggards. The S&P 500 trading up 22 points or 1.09% at 2,075 with utilities leading nine sectors higher and materials the greatest laggard while the Nasdaq trading up 47 points nearly 1% 1 at 4,918. Meanwhile in the Forex market the U.S. dollar losing some steam with the euro dollar point 79% higher at 105.80 while in focus we have the euro Japanese yen pair which has broken above the resistance at 128.25 and remains on the upside so as long as 127.50 holds as a support Port. Look for a further rise to 129 and 130 in extension. Now, crude oil futures extending losses to fall briefly, more than 4%, under $43 a barrel this morning, a six year low. Currently this afternoon, crude oil futures falling $1.61, 3.59% to trade at $43.22 a barrel over at the New York Mercantile Exchange, and gold futures falling $1.01% to last trade at $11.51 a troy ounce. And don't forget to keep checking the Blackwell Global website for more great videos updated daily right here from the financial capital of the world. And for Blackwell Global from the New York Stock Exchange, I'm James Swinney.